don't fuck with you cause she don't fuck with bitch niggas and you know it ain't a hit and love. Scanny and his bitch there. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, LV Skinny. And the reason I'm sure is I just woke up, you know, and I seen this story about R. Kelly, so I thought I'd knock it out before I, I make some other moves for the day. I don't know if I should be shirtless because this is a very, a very weird situation, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how, how many, I mean, what viewers I'm going to attract from this, so, you know, ignore my body. But, yeah, um, situation going on right now is parents accuse R. Kelly of holding their daughters in an abusive cult. Um... Hold on. Let me Google abusive cult right quick. Let me see what that is first. Oh shit, R. Kelly popped up first. Um fuck, I gotta type in what is. Man, this shit ain't uh mind control and cult cults. Um Okay, well basically I feel like it's he's keeping them there with the threat of violence type shit. Like, he's basically time to stay here. I'm gonna fuck y'all ass up. Or rape you. But yeah, okay. An extensive new report on 50-year-old... Damn, R. Kelly is 50 years old? What? An extensive new report on 50-year-old R&B star R. Kelly reveals allegations that the singer is holding multiple women against their will in an abusive cult. The allegations detailed in a BuzzFeed news piece from Jim Deragatis Monday come from concerned parents who say they are now actively fighting to bring their daughters home from what they describe as a brainwashed environment. She looked like a prisoner and it was horrible. One woman, identified only as Jay, said of her daughter's alleged relationship with Kelly, I hugged her and hugged her, but she just kept saying she's in love and Kelly is the one who cares for her. I don't know what to do. I hope that if I get her back, I can get her treatment for victims of cult. They can reprogram her, but I wish I could have stopped it from happening. Yo, this is crazy. It's like he's doing mind control on the girls or something, and she came back looking horrible. The fuck? Jay, described as a devoted stage mom, first moved to Atlanta with her husband, Tim, to ensure their daughter had a shot at a viable music career. At 19, they say their daughter, who is not identified in the report, was invited backstage at a 2015 show under the pretense that Kelly was going to help her with music. Two years later, the couple has only heard from their daughter via brief text messages. Due to her age, however, their daughter isn't viewed as a missing person by law enforcement. They say, R. Kelly walked off HuffPost Live after he was asked about... Alright, I don't know what the fuck he was asking about. I'll follow my knife. But yeah. What's going on, guys? For Complex News, I'm Speedy Mormon. R. Kelly just dropped his 13th, yes, 13th album, The Buffet. Damn. Usually, the when buffet. artists drop an album, they hit a few major Nigga, publications, R. Kelly talk about the project, and whatever else is going on. A few weeks back, our very own Jinx sat down with Kells to do just that. This morning, R. Kelly visited HuffPost Live to chat, and it was honestly one of the most awkward interviews I've ever watched. Is that an Host Caroline Madaresi Tirani and Kelly didn't seem to click from the jump. After introducing him, Madaresi Tirani asked fan submitted questions, but when one fan asked a question about his past sexual accusations, it all went downhill. When you think has, about R. Kelly, one, one, I think people find it very. One thing I will say, he has had hella sexual. Yeah. Uh, sexual accusations throughout his career like hella shit about him peeing on girls like it's hella shit honestly damn so yeah i kind of do believe this shit honestly because if he was peeing on the girls had or doing all this shit about 10 15 years ago and his mind was crazy back then his mind probably crazy now this nigga is a, a freak to not think about the multiple lawsuits the multiple right, yeah, allegations of you having inappropriate relations sex relations with minors mm -hmm. what do you say to those people who find it conflicting kells clearly uncomfortable with the direction of the questions tries to tell her what it is i did not come here to get interrogated i didn't come here for a deposition 
You know what a deposition is? I'm very aware of what a well, deposition is. I'm asking you about your music. With me when, when, I asked about your music. I say that this sounds sort of like a deposition. I think it may be the it. accent, but no, I'm uh, asking you specifically about your music. Nah, I, I feel R. Kelly here because these people do try to try to get you to admit to some shit. Like, I don't know, they try to put it on you even though you may have not did it. This could just be some Illuminati shit and they just trying to fuck up R. Kelly's rep even more like like the rest, but you know, I kind of don't feel that way. I kind of feel like R. Kelly crazy, but... Yeah. Your accent, I only hear your English. Then he flipped it and started asking her a few questions of his own. Uh, I'm gonna just go to a, a, a comment from... Do you from, drink? Do I drink? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you get drunk? Yeah. Do you fall all over and not know where you're at? I don't understand the line of questioning, but no. Nice, exactly. But it ain't positive, is it? It has nothing Real to do with shit. your job, does it? Real then shit. he just had enough. Okay, yeah, I have a video everybody. question for you from a fan no, no of you. No video questions for me because this interview is over. Okay, well, Mr. <laughs> Gay, right. I thank you very All much right. for coming to our first. I'm not asking <laughs> thank you. He <laughs> said you ain't got no questions for me because this interview is over. Oh, well, I don't think I go back on this shit. But it ain't positive, is it? It has nothing to do I mean, with your R. Kelly, job, he, he handled that then good. he just had enough. Okay, yeah, I have a video right. question for you from a no, fan no of you. No video questions for me because this interview is over. Okay, well, Mr. Gay, <laughs> right. I thank you very All much right. for coming to our first. I'm not thank answering, you. answering thank my you. questions. Thank but, you so much. But You're thank so you for being thank here. You, so uh, thank you. you don't See, have to he, comment on my appearance, he should, sir. Yeah, he fucked up right there. He shouldn't have called her beautiful because then she probably went back like, oh, yeah, he probably is really a great whatever. He shouldn't. He should have just left that one out. Watch the entire uncomfortable interview. Peep the link in the description below. For Complex News, I'm yeah, Sweetie Warman. And as always, be sure to subscribe to so Complex on YouTube that. to stay updated on this and the rest of... T yeah, um... Let me see. Additional accounts from alleged former members of Kelly's inner circle add that Kelly controls every aspect of the, of the multiple women residing at his properties in Atlanta and Chicago. Okay, from one right there, if they if he has multiple women, then okay, yes, I'm pretty sure he does have an abusive cult. Like a cult is multiple people, and if he has all these women. Somehow he has all these. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna keep reading. Uh, for in Atlanta and Chicago, including everything from their diet to how they engage in sexual encounters that are allegedly recorded for playback later in front of Kelly's friends. If Kelly's house rules are broken, these former inner circle members allege he is known to punish the women, both physically and verbally. R. Kelly is the sweetest person you'll ever want to meet, Asante McGee, one of the former inner circle members, said, but Robert is the devil. Well, shit. It do, it, I could see that. It do seem like R. Kelly is a humble, like, sweet, oh, yeah. But as soon as you do something or he don't, you don't do something that he do, this nigga going crazy, pissing on you and shit. But yeah, uh, say a Chicago silver lawyer, sil civil lawyer, represent Kelly, who was acquitted on 14 child porn counts back in 2008, has called the latest allegations an attempt at defaming an artist. That's what I was thinking as I was like about to do this video. Honestly, it is interesting that stories and tales debunked many years ago turn up when his goal is to stop the violence, put down the guns, and embrace peace and love. Lawyer Linda M Minch said. I suppose that that is the price of fame, like all of us. Mr. Kelly deserves a personal life. Please respect that. Oh, shit, that was a spot, and that shit scared the shit out of me. But, yeah, um, I kind of believe it. I kind of don't. I kind of feel like this is another one of those things just to, to mess up someone's career. But when I think about it, I don't really know many people in today's time listening to R. Kelly's music. Like, it's not like he's at that high point anymore to where we really need to knock him down. This shit just popping out of nowhere. Everybody like, what the fuck? R. Kelly is doing what? Like, what the fuck is going on? You know, I don't know. I fuck with R. Kelly's music, though. Like, he was dropping hits, classics. Like, I'm going to just leave the his personal life out of the music. That's what you're supposed to do. Like, uh, he, he still is a good music artist. But this nigga R. Kelly be tripping. Yeah, man. Till next time, you two. I'm out. Five minutes, man. I'm in your bitch, and then I'm out. Gone. All I need is five minutes in or out her mouth. Is she talking crazy, nigga? I just kick her out. This a one where I'm bout. Bet I knock her pussy out.